Hello, I'm Michelle, and welcome to Somewhere in Bookland. This is my July 2016 book haul, and I have a lot of books to go through. So I'm just going to get started. So, the first stack I'm going to show you is based off of San Diego Comic Con, which I didn't go to, but one of my friends went and she got a whole bunch of books. She got so many books that I think she set for like the next three months and she got a lot of doubles and so she got me a lot of books too. So I'm really excited. So I'm not going to talk about the books a whole bunch because there are 39 books. That's a huge haul. So starting with the San Diego Comic Con books, I'm going to go in publication order. Um, the first book is a finished copy of The Cresswell Plot by Eliza Wass. And there's a funny story behind this one. I guess she was waiting in line to get herself a copy and she was went with a friend and he was waiting in line. He didn't realize she was in line, so he got her a copy. And so it's they're both signed to her, I guess. And it's funny because see it's signed to her. And so she was like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, it's signed to me. And I'm like, I don't care. It's a free book. So I told her, I would just tell if somebody looks at it, I'd be like, uh, that's my nickname. Duh. Even though it sounds nothing like my name. The next book is The Hike by Drew McGarry. And this book actually came out on the 2nd of this month. I haven't read it yet, but it seems interesting. The next book is a finished book also, it's already been published, and this is a special San Diego Comic Con edition, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir, which I have not read yet, so I have to read this this month because the next book is A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir, which comes out this month. So I'm really excited. I have to read this book so I can read this book. So this is on my TBR for August. The next book, which comes out in September, is Ninth City Burning by J. Patrick Black. No idea what this book is about. I've never heard of it, but I'm excited still. I'll read just about anything, so. The next book is A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Cluis. Cluis? Cluis? This one comes out in September also. The next book I am super excited for. I tried to get, okay, backstory track. I tried to get this book at Y'all West and failed horribly. And then they had it again at Barnes & Noble for the Bee Fest thing that they were doing. So my Barnes & Noble had arcs of this book. And I failed again. By the time I got there, they were all gone. And so she got me a copy of this book and I'm super stoked about this. And that is Replica by Lauren Oliver. See Lyra, Gemma, Lyra, Gemma. My plan for this book, this one comes out in October. My plan for this book is I think I'm going to alternate chapters. I'm going to read one chapter, read one chapter. I think that's how I'm going to approach this. The next book I'm also excited for and that is The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia and this one comes out in October also. My cats are trying to get in. Did you hear that? They're like running and hitting the door right now. The next book it comes out in November and it is The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Kincaid. I don't know where I got the L from. Kincaid. S.J. Kincaid. Okay. So, this book, I have no idea how she managed to get it, and she got it signed, and I know it was super hard to get, and I heard stories about how hard to get it was to get at BEA, and I guess it was just equally as hard to get at San Diego Comic Con, and she managed to get two copies, one for her and one for me, and I'm just so excited, so blown away, like, so grateful for this, and that is Heartless by Marissa Meyer, and... It's signed to me. Yes, I spell my name with one L because my mom decided to make things difficult for me growing up. And this comes out in November, I believe. 
So I'm super excited to read this book. The next book comes out in January, and that is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. The next book comes out in February, and that is The Gilded Cage by Vic James. So now this next book, I actually had to buy a book, because this is the second in a series that I have not read the first book to, and it is Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton, and this comes out in March 2017. So I bought Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn, Alwyn Hamilton, so I'm excited to read these books. This was on my list of books to read anyway, so I'm excited that this book forced me to buy this book, I guess. I'm going to go through, I won some books, so I'm going to go through those first before I get into the books that I bought. And so, from Goodreads, I won The A to Z of You and Me by James Hanna. I also won from Library Thing. It Looks Like This by Rafi Middle. I won The Unbelievable Fib by Adam Shognusi and for this one I think it's just children and so I'm excited to read this book um, and then if I like it I am going to give it to my 9, 10 year old nephew. I say 9, 10 is his birthday this month and so I don't know how old he'll be when I read it. Um, He's not the biggest fan of reading, so I constantly try and trick him into liking reading by giving him books that he thinks are interesting and then tries to read for his SSR. I don't know if they call it SSR or Deer or whatever they call it now, but for his reading at school, he has to read anyway, so I buy him books that I think he'll like. So if I like this book and I think it's something he'll like, I'm going to give it to him. And then the next book I won was also from Goodreads, and it is called Looking for Derek by N.C. Nest. And then the next book I won is the second in a series, and I won it from Words with Sarah, um, her blog. I have never read the first book, so I was like, oh, that looks interesting, you know, it sounded interesting, the first book sounded interesting. It's like, I'll just enter it, and if I happen to win it, then I'll buy the first book. And I won it. So... I won Broken Prince by Erin Watts, and so I bought Paper Princess by Erin Watts. So I'm excited to read these ones. But I've been in kind of a contemporary kick lately, although it's going to fantasy right now again, because I've always been a lover of fantasy, but there's a book that I'm going to haul right now, soon, that made me like want to go back into fantasy again right now. So I'm going to start with the books I bought. The last book I purchased in the month of July is going to be the first book I haul because I'm so excited. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by John Tiffany and Jack Thorne based on the series by J.K. Rowling. I'm a little nervous because it's not written by J.K. Rowling. We'll see how I like it. The next one is another contemporary and that is Defending Taylor by Miranda Keneally. Keneally? Keneally? So the next book that I bought, I actually have the third book in the trilogy. And I bought the third book on Book Outlet for like $3. And I was like, you know what? I'll buy it now even though I don't have the first two. And then when they put the first two up there, I'll buy them. And it's been a while. And that book's getting sad because an unread book is a sad book. And I hear it crying in the middle of the night, and it's just like, read me. But I can't read it without reading the first two, so I bought the first book, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. And then once I read this book, I'll have to buy the second book and read that book, and then I can finally read Daughters, or Dreams, Daughters, Dreams of God and Monsters, and it could stop crying. It could be happy again. It could be a happy book. The next book I bought I have already read and that is The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and it's making noises. The Savage Song by Victoria Schwab and I will talk about this more in my wrap up and it was a good book. I liked it. Okay. The next books also have a story and I went to a book release party 
for the author Casey West for her new book, which is this one right here, P.S. I Like You. And I got it signed. She is actually, did not know this, this was on my TBR. And that same friend who got my the books at San Diego Comic Con told me about this book launch party. And she is from my town, basically. Well, the town over, but basically my town. And I didn't know that, which is funny because I read another book by her. Another book where she uses, uh, I think it was On the Fence, um, where she uses Woodward Park which is the real park, so I thought that was cool. So I bought P.S. I Like You and The Phil and Boyfriend, both by Casey West. And so these will be in my wrap-up for July. The next book I bought was The Season by Jonah Lisa Dyer and Stephen Stephen Dyer. And this was a good book. Uh, it was okay, actually. Not good, but not bad. It's a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, and I, I just thought it was going to be better than it was. I don't know. The next book I bought is because the movie trailer looks really interesting, and I haven't read the book. So, I bought The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Then the next book I bought, I probably shouldn't have bought, because I haven't read the first book yet, and that is After You by Jojo Moyes, and I have still not read Me Before You, even though I own it, it's just on my shelves. And then, whenever I go to Target, I like looking at their book section, because they have a good book section, and normally when I go and it's like, oh, I have you, I have you, I have you, I need you, I need you, I want you. And so, these are some that I did not have, and... Like I said, contemporary geek. Did I mention I Love You by Estelle Mascame? Mascame? And the second book, Did I Mention I Need You? Now, I also got... This is by Serena Valentino, and it is The Beast Within, because look at that cover. It is Beast, obviously, from Beauty and the Beast. Belle has always been my favorite princess. Because growing up, I was like, she has brown hair. That was my main thing. She loved to read. I loved to read. That was also a kicker, but she had brown hair. I had brown hair. I could be Belle. That was my whole thought process growing up. So Belle's always been my favorite princess. So I'm excited to see this. This is supposed to be the princess story. Then another book that I have already finished is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. This is the book. This is the book that's got me all back into fantasy again. And I read it, and it was amazing, except I finished it yesterday, so it's going to be my August wrap-up, not my July wrap-up, and that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Amazing book. Amazing. Then I bought The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I'm really excited to start this book. Really excited. I bought some manga. And they consist of Vampire Knight, the first one. Um, I'm not going to say these authors' names because I know I'm just going to mess them up. But Vampire Knight, the first one. Uh, I started reading this one. Not reading it. I started watching this one and I never quite finished. But I'm excited to read it. I got Death Note Black Edition 1, which contains volumes 1 and 2. Again, I started watching this anime, but I never finished it. So I'm excited to read it. Now the next one, okay, when I watch anime, I like the dubbed versions more than the subbed versions, and so this one, I watched all of the seasons except the final season, because they were all dubbed and subbed, except the last season was only subbed, and so since I had watched, I don't mind watching subbed ones, if I watch subbed from the beginning, I don't like switching, like in the middle of the seasons or whatever, because then the voices throw me off because I'm used to the, all the characters sounding one way and now they all sound a different way. So I had watched all the rest of the seasons dubbed and then when I got to, to um, the final season it was only subbed. And so I have yet to finish it. I'm slowly making my way through it and that is Inuyasha. Um, my cat is actually named, one of my cats is actually named after a character in this book. 
my cat's name is Kilala after the demon cat in this book and can I just say she really takes after that name because she is like a little demon herself my cat we got her a friend recently Bond James Bond because he wears a tuxedo but that that's beside the point but well he doesn't wear it when he is a tuxedo cat so his name is Bond anyway She's nicer. She's not as demony, but I love the name Kilala, so I named her Kilala. The last one I got is I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young, which I already read and I loved, and I love these illustrations. This is volume one, Madly Ever After. Look at this. Look at that. This was a really good book. It's basically this girl falls into fairyland, this little girl right here with the green hair. So she falls into fairyland. She has to find a key to find her way out. It's spo not supposed to take her that long, but it's taken her 35 years so far. She's a 35 year old. She's aging on the inside, but not the outside. So she's a 35 year old in a little girl's body. So she's a little upset. But this was good. And I read this in July also, so it will be in my July wrap-up. So that is my book haul for July 2016. So if you like it, click the like. If you want, click the subscribe button. Once again, you're watching Michelle. This is Somewhere in Bookland. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.